Your mind is actually going to define how successful you are going to be in life and maintaining good mental health is the number one skill set you need to have. In this video, I'm going to talk about five ways in which you can have a very, very sound mind and have excellent mental health. Now, there is so much on the internet in terms of how to have good mental health, but I'm going to talk about five practical ways, things which you can do right now after listening to this video to improve your mental health dramatically. So before we get started, do subscribe to the video and click on the bell icon. Trick number one, sleep before 11 p.m. Why do I say you should sleep before 11 p.m.? Because if you generally see what happens with your mind, all that negativity, all those bad thoughts about a promotion that you missed, about a job that you missed, about a failed relationship, about you not doing very well in life, generally starts around midnight, post midnight, in the wee hours of the night. So if you sleep by 11 p.m. every day, you'll automatically get up early, you'll feel fitter, you will move with the natural rhythm of the sun and your mind will improve dramatically. The second thing you should do is limit your social media consumption. So I strongly advocate you do not spend more than two hours on social media. So use your phone, put the timer for two hours every day. Also, when you interact with social media, do not get into unnecessary fights. There will always be this relative. There will always be this peer who will talk about politics, who will talk about religion, who will make snide remarks about your career. So do not engage with such a person. I generally believe it's only two or three percent of your connections that constitute 80 percent of the problems in your mind. So if there is a peer who's acting over smart, just block him. If there is a relative who's acting over smart, just block her. If your boss is creating nuisance on social media, just mute your boss. So whoever is causing trouble just blindly go and block them it is absolutely worth it and that's how you maintain good uh, mental health the third way in which you can maintain great mental health is to enrich your brain spend one and a half hours every day in enriching your brain how do you do that it's very very simple read the newspaper for one hour every day every day read the newspaper or read a book you're actually enriching your brain you're teaching it something new every day listen to a couple of youtube videos videos of influence maybe me, maybe somebody else. Listen to one podcast, one podcast on global news or one podcast on the share market. So one and a half hours every day, if you actually enrich your brain, your mental health will improve significantly. The fourth way in which you can improve your mental health is to eat right and to stay physically active. I have great belief in the power of intermittent fasting and I would strongly recommend that you also do it. What is intermittent fasting? You basically do not eat after 5 p.m. or 6 p.m. and you then eat at breakfast again. What it does is every day you burn fat. You burn the lot of extra fat that you have. You stay light, you sleep light, you get up early in the morning and I've seen your body working very very, very well. So intermittent fasting is something I strongly, strongly recommend that you take care of. The other thing is spend 30 minutes in the sun, go out in the morning for a walk, for a stroll, for a jog, for a run, 30 minutes every day in the sun. The sun has miraculous healing powers and your mind will automatically strengthen over a period of time. Reason number five and the most important reason, learn to forgive yourself. I think there is so much baggage everyone is carrying, whether about a college you couldn't attend, an exam you couldn't clear, a job you couldn't get, a promotion that didn't work out, work out a relationship that didn't work out. There is so much baggage each of us are carrying. And the most important thing is to say, I forgive myself. It's it's never too late to start in life. You can, you can start in 30s, you can start in your 40s, you can start in your 50s, you can start in your 60s, you can even start in your 70s. So whatever has happened, whatever mistakes you have made or you have not made and someone has made mistakes towards you, just forgive them and absolutely move on. Once you forgive yourself, I think your mind will improve uh, significantly. So these are the five ways in which you can improve your mental health very, very easily on an everyday basis. So with this, we come to the end of the video. Before we finish, do subscribe to the channel and click on the bell icon. Till next time, take care.